Good morning and welcome to our December 14th PZM Essentials webinar. My name is Dan Ba and I am one of the Precision Business Planning Specialists here at AgSolver. And in today's webinar, we're going to be going over exploring multi-year data files. Just to run through our webinar agenda for today, we'll go through our introduction then navigate to the multi-year scenario page, review multi-year maps, and then export multi-year maps out as shape files, and then we'll follow up with any questions anyone might have. Before we hop into Profit Zone Manager, though, I do want to mention that we are in Q&A mode, so if you have any questions, please type your questions in the chat box below. Uh, my contact information. My email is djba at agsolver.com or you can contact our support team and their email is support at agsolver.com or you can call my cell phone or call me directly. Cell phone number is 319-238-1978. So for today's webinar, we're going to be primarily working out of the Dan Boss Farms Enterprise. And for the specific field that we will be looking at will be the buildings field. And for this field, we have yield data ranging from 2012 up into up until 2016 and at the very bottom of all of our scenarios whether we have actual scenarios or planning scenarios at the very bottom we have the multi-year average performance and what's being calculated within this multi-year average performance is all of the scenarios that we have tagged as actual. So right now we're looking at a multi-year average profitability map of this field based off of those subset of years. Below we have our financial performance table based on multi-year average with percentage of the field profitable, average profit per acre, minimum profit per acre, maximum profit per acre, standard deviation, average total profit, average total revenue, and average total expenses, and then finally average ROI on this specific field. We can filter the map layer, this map layer as well with the interactive legend just by clicking on the little bars. So that's a multi-year average profit map. We want to look at the multi-year average ROI map. You can filter that map as well. If we want to look at the minimum profit map, this would have been 2012, the year of the drought here in Northeast Iowa. We want to look at maximum profit. This would have been the following year, 2013, when we had soybean production on this field. And then finally, our last map is our standard deviation map on this field. I'm going to flip back to the profit map. And within the multi year average performance, we can export these map layers out as shape files. So right next to the multi-year average performance name, there's an options drop down menu. And if we click on that, there's an export feature. Or if we click on ex export, it says are you sure you want to export this multi-year scenario? We're going to click the green, excuse me, the orange OK button. Now it's compiling our export folder. So 
So now it's ready to be downloaded. Click the green download button. Then this will be saved to our downloads default folder on our computer. If we want to open up that folder, click on that in the bottom right hand corner. And if we have TIFF files, and then at the very bottom we have our shape file of our multi year based off of ROI. Then we can plug this into a, another data reading program, MS, SST, Egg Studio, and create variable rate prescriptions and RECs based off of this multi year average ROI map. And that map would be this return on investment map layer. So now I'd like to open the floor up for any questions anyone might have. I also want to mention once this webinar is completed, it will be posted onto our Ag Solver YouTube page so you can go back and rewatch each of these steps on how to view and export multi year data files. Then I also want to invite you at our next webinar at 11 o'clock where we will be creating CRP buffer strips along a creek and ditch area in one of our fields. So on that, that webinar will be at 11 o'clock. So if there is no questions, I want to thank you for viewing our December 14th PZM Essentials webinar based on exploring multi-year data files. Thank you.